Well, let's go to Antarctica. Come on, you've got time. Remember to dress warm. Ah, here we are, in the middle of endless snow-white plains and ice. The temperature in some places drops to a face-freezing minus 136 degrees Fahrenheit. (laughs) It's so cold that if you throw hot water out of a mug, it will most likely land in the form of an icicle. But this cold is hot compared to the absolute zero definition. Scientists measure it on the Kelvin scale, where zero is the lowest point. And that's why there is nothing colder than this temperature. All objects consist of atoms and molecules. When the temperature of any object rises, its molecules move quickly and chaotically, producing kinetic energy. If the temperature of an object drops, its molecules slow down in motion, and their energy decreases. So, absolute zero is when the particles stop altogether. There's no movement, which means it's impossible to make it colder. Zero Kelvin is equal to minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's like three times colder than in Antarctica. So, imagine that scientists created a vacuum room and filled it with gas at absolute zero. What happens if a human walks in there? I can't imagine that this turns out well, so let's send Bob in there. But don't worry, he's a crash test dummy. A little background first. When a hot object comes into contact with a cold one, its molecules exchange energy. Fast-moving particles transfer their energy to slower-moving ones and begin slowing down themselves. Then an equivalent exchange occurs, and the temperature equalizes. But by default, the molecules move quite slowly until they're charged with energy. And at the same time, if you have a heated object, you will need more power to cool it. Yeah, it's a bit confusing. So let's go back to where the fun begins. Yes, if you go to absolute zero, you will freeze in seconds, because all your molecules will start to slow down. But what will happen to the body? Well, let's follow the internal adventures of Crash Dummy Bob. First, its blood vessels narrow in the coldest places. The body distributes blood from frozen areas to vital organs, like the liver, kidneys, heart, and brain. It's like emergency mode. The mannequin's body stores energy and blood for the most important, taking it away from less important areas. Then, a most dreadful thing begins. The body consists of billions of cells. When their molecules come into contact with a cold temperature, they slow down and freeze. Remember what happens to water in a frozen state? Remove the bottle from the freezer and let it defrost at room temperature. You'll see that the volume of liquid will decrease after a few hours. And when the water freezes, it increases in volume. And the human body is more than half made up of water. So, inside our mannequin, its cells get covered with sharp ice crystals that tear the internal structure of the cells. The muscles and blood vessels of the dummy are torn. Its skin gets a dark blue shade, and its blood freezes in its veins. A couple more seconds, and the dummy freezes completely. Absolute zero temperature stops all internal processes. Hey, Crash Dummy Bob said he wanted to chill, but this is ridiculous. Meanwhile, molecules are not only in living objects. Particles are everywhere, and absolute zero affects them too. The rays of light get the lowest energetic position. Photons slow down, and they can't move at the speed of light anymore. Okay, now it's time to finish the experiment. Hmm, something's going wrong, and the story becomes fantastic and hypothetical. Scientists can set molecules in motion, and the neighboring moving particles don't give them their energy. For some reason, the gas can't absorb the energy. Its frozen molecules slow down the others. The gas penetrates through the walls of the vacuum room and starts a chain reaction. The molecules freeze one by one. It's like they take a nap and charge all the matter around with this sleep. The gas area is expanding. Laboratory walls, doors, and windows are frozen. Scientists are covered with ice. Then the cloud goes outside the building. It's like a white spot that keeps growing and growing. The sun's rays get there, but can't move inside too fast. The zero envelops grasses, trees, roads, and cars. Scientists begin to sound the alarm as soon as a whole city gets inside the absolute zero clouds. The stopping of moving molecules occurs so fast that ice crystals don't have time to damage the skin and body in living bodies. 
It's not even freezing, but canceling existing life. Oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules are frozen. The air gets denser. Here a guy freezes in a jump and remains in the air. Here, a frozen bird continues to hang in the air. Things inside the cold air are similar to a 3D picture. Everything froze in motion. It's like someone took a screenshot of a lifetime and printed it. And while the cloud of absolute zero continues to spread, scientists are rushing to solve the problem. The gas is growing and diverging in all directions. If it swallows the whole Earth, it will stop all the chemical processes on our planet. And without these processes, our home will become just another space rock, a lifeless piece of matter stuck in time. However, the real catastrophe will happen not when it envelops the entire surface of the globe, but when it reaches the core of our planet. This can lead to the release of energy that will destroy the planet. Perhaps the core may resist the absolute zero. But in any case, people are not going to wait for this to happen. The cold gas meets a volcano. Lava flows emit a deafening hiss and freezes. Black clouds of steam billow into the air. The cold cloud penetrates into the volcano. The collision of cold and hot temperatures releases energy. The volcano erupts and launches, not fireballs, but sharp icicles of frozen magma. Meanwhile, heavy rains are beginning to fall all over the planet. When warm air collides with cold air, it moves away because it has less density. The liquid appears in the atmosphere and it forms clouds. Therefore, while the giant cloud freezes one part of the planet, rain clouds drench the other. And now scientists have finally come up with a solution. They've created a gas with an altered molecular structure that can stop zero Kelvin temperature. So imagine you're heating water. The stronger the water molecules increase their kinetic energy, the hotter the water becomes. The molecules are moving faster and faster. But not all particles move equally fast. Some of them have medium and slow energy. Moreover, the low energy state of the molecules is more likely. This means that only a few particles move really fast in hot water. This distribution of low and high charge particles is called the Boltzmann distribution. The distribution is everywhere, both in hot and cold objects. If we look at any object at the molecular level, we'll see that there are many more slow-moving objects than fast-moving ones. So, scientists have come up with a solution. They create a gas that works in the opposite direction. It has more moving molecules inside this gas than slow ones. Scientists hope that this gas will wake the sleeping particles up in the absolute zero cloud. So, two gases collide with each other. The cold cloud can't freeze the reverse Boltzmann distribution cloud. There are too many active molecules. So, billions of active molecules charge the frozen ones with energy. All the molecules start moving and share the neighboring ones with their energy. Objects inside the gas cloud begin to wake up. People are slowly coming to their senses. As soon as the molecules come into minimal motion, they start to receive energy from the sun's rays. The particle movement is distributed equally between the two gas clouds, and life returns to normal. The molecular order has been restored. Right. And our little fable here comes to a happy, if not entirely credible, end. Bottom line here, don't worry. Scientists created absolute zero artificially, and it'll never happen naturally. There's no such temperature anywhere in the universe. Particle movement remains even in space's farthest and darkest corners with record low temperatures. The appearance of absolute zero is impossible, because there will always be molecules around that move and share their energy with each other. Oh, by the way, no humans, animals, or crash dummy Bob were harmed in the making of this video. Are the lawyers happy? Okay. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.